Hey everyone, I'm going, this is Annie, and I'm going to do a flip through of a junk journal that I made. Um, this is for, um, it's a donation to a group that I belong to. I'm a, an interpreter here in Montana, and I'm getting ready to go to our annual state conference and I am donating this for our silent auction. So, um, I was inspired by somebody whose name I can't remember, I'm so sorry, um, but I will find it and link it down below. And um, this is my first share, so be kind. <laughs> um, anyway, so, the thing that really, really inspired me was the closure, and if it's you, I know you'll recognize it. I loved it, um, and I think I commented on your video. But anyway, it's um, it's elastic with knots and beads. Love it. And then on uh, it, what used to be Reader's Digest, and now it's not. And I made a. I don't personally love tassels, so. I make them small and I take mine off, but it's removable and it's got a butterfly charm and a dragonfly charm and it has a little crystal, oops, stuck under there, a little crystal and it has a bead that matches the ones on the front. So that's the spine and I, I put a little red flower. It has some red accents throughout the book. Let me move this light over. Might, that might be better. And uh, little red grommets on the back that look like flowers. And I was inspired by the nature journal that I saw, um, which I will link below. So here we go. Um, inside is a library pocket and uh, a flat pen. Um, actually, so you can tuck something back here and that's where I had the flat pen. And then wildflower samples and there are actually some in there that you can remove or leave whichever you choose a little journaling space behind the wildflower samples and this is a manila envelope that has a little journaling space and it's sewn to this is a designer paper that you can write on And I have lots of designer papers in here. And I hear, I love looking at everybody's videos. I love it. I hear people say that they're not a fan of white pages. I'm not either. So I tried something different. I splattered um, watercolor on the white pages just to, you know, take the white, so much white out. And this is a little pocket with a folded off cut from another page in here and a pocket with um, freezer paper and uh, a folded off cut. I included all the off cuts plus more. Another paint splatter and I put those lines on with pen and because I live in Montana Here's a Montana playing card, the Joker. And a little folded off cut. And of course, this is one of those really cute hidden journaling corners. And this is a greeting card on, on the other side. And it's a bird with wild flowers. And I have a bunch of altered paper clips, different kinds. 
throughout the book. Another pocket. And the theme again is nature, so there's lots of flowers, bees, spider webs, but no spiders. Here's a postcard with flowers. That's also a journaling spot and a hidden. And these little tabs that I that are um, coffee dyed paper that I sewed around. Lots of different papers in this journal. I made a journal for myself and I love using it and it's a little golden book. So I tried to incorporate some of the things that I learned with that one. This is the center and it has these two little uh, circly things at the ends of the binding strings. And another tuck spot with a journaling card. And of course, hidden writing on every one of these. So I won't, I won't keep turning them. And here's a little paper clip with uh, an empty pocket um, envelope. Coin envelope are those? And another um, altered paper clip. This is the same fabric as is on the spine for you to add something to. Journaling spot in a pocket. A pocket with uh, off cut. A little image from Pinterest and a journaling spot on the back and a little round paper clip, which I think is so cute. And here's another altered paper clip. This one has um, washi tape on it. And this is designer paper with a little card about nature and another tuck spot, journaling spot, coffee dyed paper, I think I said that, washi tape and paint splatter, and the back side of that pocket with freezer paper and another journaling card sewn to uh, coffee dyed paper. Another pocket with journaling space inside. Washi tape and paint splatter. The other end, the other side of that um, manila envelope with this cute little woman who is going out to garden. And on the back, it's it's sewn to a journaling spot. And then a little manila file folder that I cropped down with two different uh, pockets and a place to journal. And then here's the second signature. A man with galoshes that I found in a magazine and journaling space inside goes in that pocket another pocket with uh, journaling space there's another Altered paper clip and more journaling space on that little rabbit that's running with a basket of something. Here is another wildflower sample that I gathered near my home. And then a pocket here and a pocket here. And a tuck spot with a mini journal. 
This paper matches the inside cover, front and back. And it has accents of red again with coffee dyed paper. And I sewed it on my sewing machine. And that tucks in here. I did a lot of sewing in this book because I really like sewing. Sewing on paper, that is. I, I like sewing on fabric, too. This is another journal spot. That's your paper. This is uh, an envelope with a card. Pretty purple. I don't know what kind of flower that is. And attached with an altered paper clip. This is let's see, a couple of things to journal on. The back of this tag with a bird and more birds. And this little tag on this graph paper. This is a double tuck spot with two tags on which you may journal. So back and front. I just love those birds. And oops. And there. That's the center of the second signature with more little circly things. And another one of those images from Pinterest that you can journal on. And then this page, um, this is a tuck spot with that cute little bird paper clip. And this folds out. And it tucks right in there. And then this folds out too for more journaling space. This was a really long piece of paper. I think uh, eight and a half by 14. And another altered paper clip with washi tape. And another journaling spot, which is, which folds out twice. And goes on this little paper clip. And another pretty card. This one says, a note just for you. And my thought with these cards is you could keep them for yourself and journal in them, or you could send them on. And I uh, splattered this one as well. And this little dragonfly is, of course, a journaling spot. I love that vibrant colors. This is a hidden journaling spot. Pretty pink flowers from a magazine. And this is like my favorite paper. It's designer paper and every time I go buy paper, I buy more of this. So you might see that again. And then this is the back of this pocket, which has a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back with this little folded up off cut and a little tab to get it out. Some paper flowers for some bling. And this is a little folded piece of designer paper with that bamboo, I think it is. And a tuck spot. And a second 
um, mini book. And this is Coleman Lake Club. This is a playing card. I think it's also a Montana thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Somebody correct me. So journaling room there. And then this little um, clippy thing. We're going to call that a clippy thing. With a little notepad. All the same image on it and then this goes all the way around to the back and I attached it with the tiny attacher oops I'm sorry I was out of frame tiny attacher and it clips to the last page here and on the last page in the back we have a, an envelope behind which is a tuck spot with a folded page for journaling and then inside is more of my favorite paper also folded for journaling so that's it and again this is a donation uh, for our silent auction and I would love to know what you think if you watch this video um, and I'm pairing this with a um, flower press that I made. I discovered um, power tools this summer. <laughs> and I discovered I like drilling holes in things. So I made myself a flower press. And I made a second flower press. And I want to show it to you, but it's not quite finished only because the the bolts that I bought are too short to fit this and I just wasn't thinking so I bought the wrong bolts but of course they attach at the corners right in the holes that I drilled they attach at the bottom and come up through the top and then you turn the wing nut I'm learning all these terms and tighten it after and I did stamp that image on this piece of hickory so after you put um, right after you put flowers you gather your flowers and you put them between two piece two pieces of couching paper or couching paper so you put the flowers in there and then you put the um, cardboard on top and you sandwich it all together and I have multiple layers here I have enough for um, five different and I put as many as I can between two co coaching papers or couching papers however you say that and then you put the top board on the bolts are in the corners and tighten it down so it's a set for this um, silent auction anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed